Two presidents, one stage, the whole world watching. And the sparks are flying in every direction. This man is a criminal. You, you have the morals of an alley cat. He should apologize to me right now. Every single thing he said is a lie. Every single one. 8 News Now breaks down tonight's debate. 8 News Now is your local election headquarters. The race for president kicking into gear tonight as two presidents trade blow after blow. Thank you for watching 8 News Now at 11. I'm Brian Loftus. And I'm Denise Valdez. We have team coverage tonight and our team at local watch parties bringing reaction from both sides. But first, we're kicking things off with our 8 News Now investigator Kyle Payne with the nuts and bolts of the debate. Kyle, those two didn't hold back. Brian, Denise, this was the first presidential debate ever where the network cut microphones when one of the cameras was supposed to be done talking. But that didn't stop either one from saying their piece. We have the greatest economy in the history of our country. The candidates weighing in on the economy to kick off Thursday's debate. His economy, he rewarded the wealthy. And although it's a topic of great importance in the Silver State, which has struggled with slow economic growth and with worse in the country unemployment, it did not take long for either candidate to drop the gloves, with Trump turning the Biden economy into a referendum on how the world views the United States. We're no longer respected. They, they don't like us. We give them everything they want, and they, they think we're stupid. They think we're very stupid people. What we're doing for other countries, and they do nothing for us, what this man has done is absolutely criminal. Later on, Biden went somewhere no such debate has ever gone. The crimes that you are still charged with, and think of all the civil penalties you have. How many billions of dollars do you owe in civil penalties for, for molesting a woman in public, for doing a whole range of things, of having sex with a porn star on the night while your wife was pregnant? I mean, what, what, what are you talking about? You, you have the morals of an alley cat. Give me a minute, sir. I didn't have sex with a porn star. There were some exchanges on other issues facing our country, like abortion. But I believe in the exceptions for rape, incest, and the life of the mother. I think it's very important. Some people don't. Follow your heart. But you have to get elected also, and because that has to do with other things. you got to get elected. The problem they have is they're radical, because they will take the life of a child in the eighth month, the ninth month, and even after birth. After birth. I supported Roe v. Wade, which had three trimesters. The first time is between the woman and the doctor. Second time is between the doctor and an extreme situation. The third time is between the doctor, I mean, between the, the woman and the state. The idea that the politicians, the, the, that the founders wanted the politicians to be the ones making decisions about women's health is ridiculous. On the war between Israel and Hamas, which is dragging into its ninth month, Biden began by discussing his most recent three-pronged plan. The first stage is trade the hostages for a ceasefire. Second phase is a ceasefire with additional conditions. The third phase is no, the end of the war. The only one who wants the war to continue is Hamas. He said the only one who wants to keep going is Hamas. Actually, Israel is the one, and you should let him go and let him finish the job. He doesn't want to do it. He's become like a Palestinian, but they don't like him because he's a very bad Palestinian. He's a weak one. And on the war on drugs, being fought on America's streets and at the borders. We did a lot, and we, had, we were getting very low numbers, very, very low numbers. Then he came along. The numbers, have you seen the numbers now? Fentanyl and the byproducts of fentanyl went down for a while. And I wanted to make sure we use the machinery that can detect fentanyl, these big machines that roll over everything that comes across the border. And it costs a lot of money. That was part of this deal we put together, this bipartisan deal. Watching that debate tonight, it seemed Biden attempted to beat Trump with numbers and specifics on many topics. And Trump attempted to beat Biden using strong rhetoric. Back to you.